Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It is Nick here from the Web3 Alert and today we are actually going to fully explain what Ripple and XRP is for everyone to truly understand just how big of an opportunity XRP actually is. So let's dive on in and let's start off with, of course, talking about Ripple. Ripple is a company that aims to revolutionize cross-border transactions in, of course, the internet of value. Their overall vision is to make sending money across borders as easy as sending an email or information itself. With RippleNet, which is, of course, the network that Ripple has created, this is connecting financial institutions that allows banks, payment providers, and others to transfer money securely and quickly. But this is where XRP really kind of comes into play, right? So XRP is the digital asset or cryptocurrency of choice that Ripple has chosen. A lot of the individuals around this space believe that XRP has been the chosen one for a very long time regarding, of course, the cross-border payment market, which, by the way, is $156 trillion, projected to be worth about roughly $250 trillion within the next couple years. As we look at XRP, though, why is it so you know, perfect for what Ripple is trying to do? Well, it's because it was designed for specific purposes. XRP is the perfect decentralized bridge currency. It enables the exchange of value between different fiat currencies or anything of value, making cross-border transactions more efficient and cost effective. When we look at the technology behind XRP, it operates on a decentralized ledger known as the XRP ledger. The XRP ledger is a public open source blockchain it's designed to process transactions quickly and with minimal energy consumption. It's also highly secure. There's also hundreds of use cases created already on the XRP ledger. And with a lot of the amendments that are due to go live, like for an example, XLS 38D and even XLS 30D, these are great for expanding the overall utility and also ex exposure that XRP and the XRP ledger can have to thousands of use cases. For example, the EVM sidechain that is in uh, one of the amendments could open the door for the XRP ledger to be bridged to the EVM sidechain and ultimately have thousands of use cases coming over to the XRP ledger due to the fact that the EVM uh, network, well, we already know is inefficient. But the XRP ledger is public, it's open source, and it's designed to process transactions quickly with minimal energy consumption. It is extremely secure, and this matters because when we compare XRP to, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or numerous other tokens in the space, well, its efficiencies are unlike no other. But why does XRP truly matter? Well, it has numerous use cases, like I've said, but from cross-border payments with remittances and even as a bridge asset for the new world of decentralized finance, it has transforming efficiencies tied to it. And XRP has been for well over a decade fully operational. There has not been one outage. It has not gone down. It is extremely secure. It has not been, you know, exploited or anything like that. It is one of the most trusted and one of the most efficient cryptocurrencies in this space. Now, with Ripple, the interesting thing about Ripple is that for well over a decade, they have been networking with some of the largest banks out there and financial institutions. For a matter of fact, actually, we know that Ripple Swell has been going on for the last roughly couple hours, and it is going to go on for another additional 24 hours. Every single year, Ripple holds this event, and for some people, this event might not seem like much, but we do know from David Schwartz, who is the CTO at Ripple, uh, this is essentially a banking conference held by a cryptocurrency company. Take a step back real quick and think about that. It is a banking conference held by a cryptocurrency company. When we look at the future of finance versus what we have in traditional finance, it is night and day. The efficiencies that could be unlocked by tapping into a cryptocurrency and a ledger technology like the XRP ledger with XRP is unlike anything unheard of in, of course, the traditional financial space.
So when we look at what Ripple has been doing and how much they have been networking with central banks, financial institutions, um, all of these major elite organizations for well over a decade, it seems as though they are perfectly positioned to be at the forefront of this massive transformative push for global finance to be reshapen by blockchain and crypto technology. They have been cornering, of course, the cross-border payment market, which is, like I've said, a $156 trillion current market. Um, but we know that within the next couple of years, it will be a $250 trillion market. And hey, if Ripple could grab just a small piece of that pie and have that money move over XRP with the XRP ledger, well, guess what? there is going to be a significant demand for the tokens. Because guess what? Outside of what Ripple is doing, I've already gone over how there's over hundreds of use cases already thriving on the XRP ledger. When you combine retail use case potential with institutional grade potential and even enterprise, you have a massive, a, a huge tsunami of demand for XRP as a token. But the best part about it is the supply, right? Because we know that the supply is capped. There's never going to be more XRP out there. And some might look at the supply for XRP sitting at about 99 billion and some change and say, there's way too much XRP out there, right? But that's where a lot of people don't understand the significance of the demand that XRP with, of course, Ripple's help could generate. Because we're not looking at Ripple creating value for XRP, but if they do create value for XRP, that's great. XRP has significant value already, and all of those use cases that I've talked about that are thriving on the XRP ledger obviously are creating demand for XRP as a token, and also they are creating significant value for XRP as a token as well. As we look at the transformative power behind XRP as a bridge currency, and as we look at the world of evolving currencies, ma mainly when we look at that, we look at CBDCs and stable coins and tokenized things of value. We know that the world of you know currencies and valuations of things is becoming extremely fragmented. So we need something that could possibly bridge it all. And that's where XRP and the secret sauce behind XRP really comes into place because it serves us that, you know, decentralized bridge currency. And that that was its original, you know, purpose. Um, and yes, we have seen that purpose kind of be put on to the side because like I've said, we've seen so many great use cases launching on the XRP ledger, but, as we see the world of traditional finance converging with crypto so far, um, and this is only going to continue to accelerate, like I've said, because of the efficiencies behind the space, well, XRP comes becomes the golden goose, if you will, for you know all of these major institutions and financial institutions that are tapped in with Ripple. And like I said, there's already 300 plus financial institutions that Ripple has you know conquered um, and brought onto the Ripple network in its time in this market. And I would argue that there are probably going to be well over a thousand plus in the near future because they have been doing these incredible banking conferences. Like I've said, Ripple Swell is essentially a banking conference that is held by a crypto their currency uh, company and not only that but they've also been connecting the dots with massive fintech companies around the world and they have become a dominant force in the traditional financial space which is why i say they are going to most likely corner that you know 156 trillion dollar currently market and they also already cover 90 percent of the fx market which is completely different outside of cross-border payments which is and the FX market, just for, for you guys to know, is a seven and a half trillion dollar per day market. It is a very vast and very large market, which does have its own inefficiencies, just like cross-border payments, which is another market that is ripe for disruption from Ripple's point of view, which like I've said, them covering 90% of that market already, well, that exposes XRP to just yet again, another massive opportunity. So with that in mind, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys learned something. I wanna kinda keep these a little bit shorter. I wanna keep them under 10 minutes, but if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like subscribe channel notifications on if you guys have more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow us over on twitter at the web3 alert and also go check out our website for more live coverage of everything crypto at of course the web3 alert.com thank you guys for watching this has been nick peace out